Now the next numerical of fuels is to calculate high calorific value and low calorific value and this numerical is based on Dulong's formula. Now analysis of coal gave following result. Carbon was 84%, sulfur is 1.5%, nitrogen is 0.6%, hydrogen is 5.5%, oxygen is 8.4% and we have to calculate uh, high calorific value and low calorific value. So the Dulong's formula is HCV is given by 1 by 100, 8080 into carbon plus 34500 hydrogen minus oxygen divided by 8 plus 2240 into sulfur and the unit is kilocalories per kg. Now in place of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur, directly we have to place the percentage. So HCV is 1 over 100, 8080 into 84 plus 34500, hydrogen is 5.5, oxygen is 8.4 divided by 8 plus 2240 into 1.5. So when we solve it, it comes out to be 8356 kilocalories per kg. Now to calculate LCV, the formula is HCV minus 0 0.9H into 587. H is the percentage of hydrogen and 587 is a latent heat of steam which is constant. So if we put up the values 8356 minus point, this is point zero nine, point zero nine hydrogen is into 5.5 into 587. So if we calculate it, we get 8065.44 kilo calories per kg. So uh, this is the numerical or uh, calculation of high calorific and low calorific value based on Dulong's formula. Now the next is calculation of high and low calorific value based on bomb calorie beta. A sample of coal containing carbon 93%, hydrogen 6% and ash 1%. The following data was obtained when coal was analyzed in bomb calorie meter. The weight of fuel is 0.92. The weight of water is 550 grams. The weight of water sample was 2200 grams. The rise in temperature is 2.42. The acid correction is 50 calories. The fuse wire correction is 10 calories. You have to calculate HCV and LCV. Now, bomb calorie meter, the equation for bomb calorie meter for calculating HCV is HCV is given by capital W plus small w T2 minus T1 plus cooling correction. minus fuse wire correction plus acid correction divided by x. Now, if we see the data, the weight of sample is x, weight of water is capital W, weight of water equivalent is a small w, this is T2 minus T1, Acid correction is 50. Fuse wire correction is 10. Now in this data, cooling correction is not given. So it will not be included. So if we put up the values, we get uh, capital uh, W is 550 five, zero plus 2200. Two, zero, zero. Uh, the rise in temperature is 2.42. The fuse wire is 10. The acid correction is 50. And the weight of fuel is 0 0.92. So if we uh, solve it out, we get 7168.5 calories per gram. Now the equation of LCV is HCV minus 0 0.09H 
hs percentage of hydrogen 587 is latent heat so hcv is 7168.5 minus 0 0.09 the percentage of hydrogen is 6 so we put up into 6 into 587 so when we solve it it comes out to be 6 855.3 calories per gram so these are the two methods by which we can calculate high and low calorific value so one is by Dulong's formula the other is by bomb calorie meter now in both the ways the equation of lcv is same so the equation of hcv is changing so uh, Seeing on the numerical, अगर bomb calorie meter से given है, तो ये पूरा data given होगा. जब ये पूरा data given है, तो we will understand कि हमें formula जो HCV का लगाना है, वो ये वाला है. और अगर खाली percentage given है, percentage of carbon, percentage of hydrogen, percentage of oxygen and percentage of sulphur, तो हमें HCV निकालना होगा इस Dulong formula से. Now, in Dulong's formula, in this numerical, there is carbon, bhi given hai, hydrogen, bhi given hai, sulfur, bhi given hai, oxygen. If one data is missing from these four data, we take it to zero. We will not calculate it from 100 se minus karke apne aap calculate nahi So, suppose in a numerical, sulfur is absent. So, in place of sulfur, we are going to write zero. So, these are two methods by which we can calculate high calorific value and low calorific value. One is Dulong's formula. The other is bomb calorie meter.